Today is the day that we dyno the RX-7. I know I haven't had a lot of updates with that car, but it's just fought me so much that I just couldn't get the energy to grab my camera. But my friends at Dynasty called me up and said, Logan, get it to the dyno on Sunday at 8 in the morning and let's get this thing turned up. I wish I was more energetic, but uh, my girlfriend has bronchitis and she was coughing all night and I'm very sleepy. We'll trade RX-7 for cure to bronchitis. If you guys have that, anybody know, come on down. But no matter what, it's a good day. The car is hopefully ready. I, I'm the one that you know put it all together, so I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. But uh, we'll see what happens. It's got a build short block now and uh, some other stuff. So tired. Which also means that once that thing's done, I can finish this thing. I don't know why I said it like that. So she's all loaded up. Hopefully she'll stay in one piece. We're ready to rock and roll. We got the Fat House Turbo Kit, PT88. We got a built LS3 short block, Lunati crank, K1 rods, Wise Co pistons, RCI intake, Trick Flow heads, BTR everything. Oh, Aaron Rodgers bobblehead. Oh, it's going to be good. While we're on our way to the dyno, I want to go over some dyno etiquette tips. These are tips and tricks to keep your tuner from strangling you from your, the life in which you once had. Number one, don't ask to stand by the dyno unless you know this person on a very personal level. Just sit up front, cross your legs, play your Sudoku, shout out. Number two. If you are lucky enough to be able to be near the dyno while the dyno operator is operating the dyno and he makes a pull, do not walk up to him afterwards and say, how much power that time? How much timing that time? How much boost that time? What was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? Was that noise normal? Yeah, man. What, like, what would it be though like if this was a dyno jet and not like a schmagger schmagger boo doo bop 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 dyno? Trick three if I'm still numbering these. Don't, uh, don't bring your car if it's not ready. Don't bring it. Like, pretty much anything that I do with the dyno, don't do. I am very guilty in the past of all of these things, and I still am guilty now. But do as I say, not as I do. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm extremely excited to be going to the rollers finally. It's been a long road. I haven't even been able to enjoy my car this year. I just keep changing it or breaking it or changing and breaking it. And it's just finally, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get something together that I can actually enjoy. So very, very excited to see what we can do with this thing. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to burn it to the ground. The only thing that I'm worried about is the fact that I had some Chick-fil-A last night. And it is not cooperating. I got bubble guts like a madman. So sorry in advance, Hal. I'll try to stand behind the dyno fan so it sucks it through and blasts it out. But I'm telling you right now, I'm about to blast something out. It'll be a rough morning. We are here bright and early at Dynasty. This is my alma mater. These were my stomping grounds for a couple years. I worked in the front end and uh, I gotta say, these guys are world class. I miss them a bunch, but you know, they got a lot of import stuff. I'm more domestic. My favorite part is watching him back it on the dyno. It's so much fun. Because you gotta make a 77 point turn because my car's a pile of garbage. Starting with drivability, it's too bright. Uh. Starting with drivability, getting that thing 
lined out because the injectors are 4,876 cc's. <laughs> I have uh, 2,000 cc injectors from Carter Motorsports. Shout out Brandon Carter for the injectors. I appreciate you. And we're getting drivability dialed in, going to power stuff. Hope it stays together. Remember, I'm the one that assembled the long block. So, hope it stays together. First issue of the day, uh, the differential's leaking all over the exhaust and it's smoke screening like a James Bond movie. But we fixed it, we uh, diff diapered it by Dynasty, and it looks great. I'm gonna show you this diff diaper by Dynasty. Hitting retail stores in October 2023. Issue number two, my wire, my coil pack wire harness extension ended up on the downpipe and may or may not have melted and I may or may not have only been running on six cylinders, but it's hopefully fixed now. I'm going to go in the bathroom and choke myself till I pass out. Stupid idiot, dumb idiot, moron, stupid, 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 stupid moron. So we're on wastegate boost still. We just laid down 658. Oh, is that my reflection? Okay, my reflection from the sun on the mirror makes it look like my face is cl Never mind. So 658 horsepower on 11 pounds of boost. We're gonna start adding some boost control. Duty, ha, <laughs> duty. See what we could get the old girl up to. Woo! Never mind. we made 666 horsepower on uh, 11 pounds. Thanks, Hal. I appreciate, appreciate that omen. Why are you back home, Logan? You were just at Dynasty. Is, is everything okay? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on, but I'm gonna sit down because if I stand up any longer, I'm just gonna break down in tears. So, first of all, it's like a greasy situation. There, okay, perfect. So, the last pull we had, we were on 18 pounds. It made right around 840 wheel horsepower, which is good power. What's bad is on 16 pounds, it made 878 with stock heads and uh, a few other things. So, something isn't happy all the way, and we have to start diagnosing one thing at a time to see where we might be um, losing power. The good news is that everything's healthy. Uh, no crazy blow by, no weird noise, plugs look great. Everything else is lining out to where it's, it's gotta be something simple or stupid. I've kind of narrowed it down to a couple things. One thing is these coil packs are just Chinese crappers. Like I, I found them on the shelf in my garage and threw them together. So I'm thinking that we might have kind of a weak spark situation going on. And the other thing is if push rod length still isn't where it needs to be, if I'm leaving something on the table there with valve actuation, um, but everything in this combination should be making about 100, 150 horsepower more at, at this boost level. So um, obviously the positives are no crazy issues, no terminal illness with the engine. We're good there. Uh, there's some things I'm going to change around. I'm going to change the downpipe around. I, I'm going to check spark plug wires, check plugs on the passenger bank, some other little things, and head back to the dyno and see what we can do. So all in all, C- minus for the day. But... We'll see what we can put together. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Logan Disappoints Everybody and Himself. I'm going to spend the next couple days diagnosing this thing and figuring out where that power went, how to get it back, and cleaning up my cat's piss in the kitchen. Right, Walt? Right. Tomato, tomato. I want to make some dollar. Don't want to be like Papa. I want to pay his bills like magic and tell them haters. Tell them.